Hey, it's Diamond Dish with D. That's me. Welcome to Vlogmas. I'm not sure what day it is because I'm filming this on Tuesday. But we are at Lidl to see what we can find and score for low points. Let's go shopping. Can't wait to see what's in here today. <gasps> they have small carts here. <gasps> first of all, first one for this store, small carts. Seasonal stuff, mini stolens. <gasps> Look at these. Many Italian sweetbreads. These make great gifts. We'll take a couple of those. What are these? Glazed. Ooh. All right, let's step in. We are greeted with the seasonal section and the fruit section, and there is a bakery you will see in a minute. But here are the seasonal favorites for Christmas, Hanukkah, Advent. They're all in the front of the store. And you saw some that I showed you in the vestibule, but here's a few of the other little gift sets that they had. Some Starbucks, some coffees and stuff like that. So I thought I would just peruse over that. Oh, there's a beer stein. There's some fun little decorating and some fun little gift purchases, which is kind of cool. It's kind of, like I said, this is like Aldi, but stepped up a bit. You will see in some of the footage, it's a little bit bigger than Aldi. But I said it's more of a German selection of things. So let's keep going. So let's see what we have here. I okay, got more of the gift section. I wasn't sure what I put in here. And there's some flavored coffees and some little of the German little chocolate Santas and all the little German style type things. Of course, I'm in the hunt for Pfeffernus for Steve. That is what he was looking for. So it's really the main reason why I came because I knew they would have them here. And some baking chocolates and some stolens and some fruit cakes and again great little food gifts if you're like giving food gifts and the prices here really aren't are pretty good actually i don't know why i don't shop here more often it's really not that far from my house but you know but look at the cookies oh yes i know who doesn't love a german cookie i mean oh, speculos look at that and these things were on sale as well. And here is what I'm looking for. Yes, score one. They're the Pfeffernus. So they go right into my cart. These are like the upscale Pfeffernus too. They have icing. So double score. But we just thought we'd pan around and show the different little gift sets. There's pajamas. And here we are in the produce section, which, of course, is the best section for any of us WWs because it has a nice selection. They have some different types of kiwis and some dates and stuff so i'm just going to pan around and just show you a few of the different items that they have and there's some squash because you know we love our squash and we come around here's some looks like oranges or mandarins i'm not quite sure um here's a nice selection of different brands of or I should say types of apples a nice selection. I said for a small store that's really not that big, there was a nice selection of different types of apples. And then we're just going to look around. And then look at these cute little Celestial Seasonings teas. Seasonal herbal teas. I'm not a huge herbal tea person, but I thought I would show you these because they really are quite cute. If you're like Celestial Seasonings, look at them. A little nice gift too for the tea lover in your life. They had some plants and some Christmas trees. Here's the bakery. I know this is not WW friendly, but you know what? That doesn't mean we can't have a donut once in a while. But I thought I'd just show you the, just what this store has to offer. And look at the fresh baked breads. And there's pretzels. And there's pretzel rolls. And there's Danish. And there's donuts. And there's pies. And look at the pretzels. Oh. Yeah, I didn't come out with anything. But the, oh, look at the focaccia. I really wanted that. I should have gotten one. In hindsight, I might have to go back and get one. But look at the nice little... We usually get that loaf at the bottom, but Steve wasn't with me, so I didn't pick it up. But we normally... It usually comes home with us. But I also want to show you some more of the... Look at the grapes. The prices of grapes are phenomenal here. And strawberries. Like, I haven't had strawberries in forever. And I'm like, oh my gosh, they were actually pretty good. Because they've been like over $6 for a little, for that, that size strawberries. For $3.99, I'm like, oh my gosh, strawberries are affordable again. And they still had some cranberries and of course some mushrooms, all different types. 
oh, you know, I love my mushrooms. And I thought, yeah, we need to get some mushrooms. They need to go in my scramble. So they might have went into my cart. And raspberries. And so they have carrot chips. I think that is a freaking win. I did not buy any because I still have some I have to finish up here. But look at these sheet pan. All ready to go vegetables for sheet pan meals. I'm like, I've never seen that before. I was, and look at that. Pickled jalapenos and pickled red onions. Now, if it was more hot dog season, I might have gotten those because though I do pickle my, and they're really easy to pickle your own. That's probably why I didn't get them. And they have a few interesting salad kits and some, oh, you know, my beets. I loved getting those, but I did not get any today. But they have some interesting salad kits that you might see in a haul later. Don't forget to send it stay to the end of this video to see what I purchased. And I will only show you the interesting things because, you know, you don't need to see my chicken breast and my avocados because we all know what they look like. Look at the hummuses and the dips. So good. Avocados, guac. Oh, I, I, I resisted the urge to purchase. You'd be proud of me. You're really proud. So we're gonna take a look on the other side where they have some all different types of tomatoes. I mean, you name it. I guess at first store this size, they just have a really nice produce selection. Mangoes and limes and there's the avocados. And you will see an interesting thing next to the lemons, which I don't see often. I need to get that in my cart before I forget. <laughs> but you will see something interesting, which I, I say, like, well, I don't see in a lot of stores, which is, oh, look, at the, look at the beautiful golden pineapples. Can you just... You will see there's lemons, which of course went into my cart, but they have a combo pack of lemons and limes. I had to pick a, a good one because someone, I think I showed the combo, but there it is. Look at that. A combo pack. I mean, I, I've never seen that before. And sometimes you just, you know, you need both, but you don't want to buy a bag of each, but I think that was great. Here's potatoes and some cucumbers and more tomatoes on the vine. And here's some more different types of potatoes. And we're gonna to come to almost my favorite section, the onions. I know, sad life that I onions are one of my favorite things in the world, but they are. But potatoes are good too. But look at the onions. Oh, I can still smell them. I know, serious issues, serious issues. Celery cabbage two kinds of cabbage big bags of, look at that big bag of carrots i didn't need that big of a bag but i was making soup that night so i needed a small bag of carrots so i was able to get a smaller bag because that one just would have taken up way too much room in my fridge and we don't really go through carrots that much and they have different kinds of peppers and more cucumbers i love those mini bell peppers look six four seven bread can you just they had the italian my favorite and they had the white. I was duly impressed. Yep, a store like that to carry that. Yeah, and you see the price isn't too bad either. Look at that. And of course, they have Dave's Killer Bread. I almost bought a loaf, but I have to finish the protein bread I have here. So I thought I'd just peruse the rest of the bread section. I'll show you that they do have other brands than their own, which is kind of nice because sometimes you're just limited to the store brand. And not that the store brand is bad, but you just sometimes we just like what we like. English muffins and they have bagels and all kinds of fun stuff. Look at that. And here we are in the crackers. Look at the crackers. I'm telling you, you're making a charcuterie. Look at the different things you can definitely put on your board that are a little bit different. Then, you know, some may might have made it into my cart. There's some interesting things in this in the way of crackers. And you will see a couple that I did get because we are going out and we needed some crackers for our cheese. Look at those. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, I love crackers. Oh, crackers are like a staple in my life. And they have like, you know, the cauliflower ones, which again are a brand name. And we have some of the cookies. Look what they have. Partake. Yes, ma'am. And they have some of the waffle ones and some of these. I know they're not, not everything here is I'm showing you, but I'm just trying to get, they didn't have the chocolate grams here either. But they did have pocky sticks. And they did have filled ones as well. So they might have won in my cart for someone's stocking. 
And look at these. These are great. I did not buy this. I still have one at home. But these, honestly, are really good for your points. And you get a lot of... They're little cute little cookies. And you get a lot, you know, for a few points. You can have one or two for, like, one point. Thins are the where it's at, you know. If you look at... And it's, the cookie says thins on it. Yeah, you know that's definitely going to fit into your bank for sure. I think it's an interesting open wheat. I have no idea. Oh, in the spice section. They have a really nice spice section. So I thought I would share that with the different spices that were around. And they had different kinds of, they have different kinds of cr um, peppers, different courses, like coarse and fine, which I thought was interesting. Of course, I like to grind my own pepper, but I thought it was interesting that they had that. And definitely, I wasn't in need of any spices. So I just wanted to pan and show you the different ones that they had. But I was not, in, and the prices I thought were decent. I thought these were kind of cool too. The little ginger and chili and garlic jars. So always good to have around. Just going to peruse them. I think I perused maybe a little too long here, but you know, it's my favorite section. And there's oats. Yes, my lovelies, oats. And of course there's the cereal section, which, you know, is never good points. But I don't know, I thought I'd just show you. But I showed you that they had the different brands as well. They have their brand and they have some name brands, which is this one to share that. And here we are going into fruit snacks and Belvitas and Kind Bars, you know, and Kind Thins, which I really do like. Kind Breakfast Bars. Now, these are Z Bars. These are the Kid Bars, Cliff Bars, if you like Cliff Bars. They used to have their own brand of protein. I don't know if I just missed it or what. I'm not sure, but I'll have to go back because there's just was way too much. Look at the protein. Yes, please. I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm showing you the little interesting things on the back if you happen to want to see the points for that. But that was interesting find. I thought the prices were really, really good. And I always say, a kid bar, honestly, is good to save you points. Most times are three. I'm generalizing, though. But most times the kid bars are three, which I think is, a, you know, a good amount for a bar. I used to love Cliff Bars, but now they're really too high in points applesauce and canned fruit and there's the butter and look at these international delights coffee creamer in the grinch this is not the sugar-free one but i thought it was just cool enough to show you that it was interesting because i've never seen grinch creamer and look at this peppermint whipped cream can you just and what is this one? Oh yeah irish cream Something different for the holidays. We could afford a couple squirts. And I don't know this kef this kefir. Have you ever tried that? I've heard many people mention that. And the cured meats. Yeah. I just had to show the cured meats. And the crab cakes and the lobster cakes. <laughs> because, you know, I like that kind of stuff. <laughs> and all that. I just wanted to give you a little. There's the, pre the, you know, the refrigerated pizzas and the pastas. And they even had sushi. And the couple, well, there's the Dockers crab cakes and the little snackers. Those little um, fake crab, which is Pollock, which my boys love. Look at this. You know I'm all into the, the shirataki. I know, weird that I actually like shirataki. I don't, I can't even explain that one. I don't eat it much, but I do like it. They have snapped, and look at these cute little party snacks, individual ones you could bring. And I never had these perfect bars. If you have, let me know down below. I've seen them all the time and I've never tried them. Of course, they have the, the refrigerator pickles and the kombucha. A oh, big kombucha section. If you like kombucha, they have a nice, they have those little shots and stuff like that. There's some ciders, there's some OJ, and what's on this? Here's the meats. They have a big meat section, beef, pork. They even have ground lamb, which Steve and I sometimes go just for that. And the big thing, I thought the price of chicken was honestly not bad. Because what I've been seeing, the price of chicken. So I did pick up a pack of that, which you will not see in my haul because you all know what chicken looks like. But the shelves were pretty empty in the ground chicken department. And they, of course, there's the bacon, the breakfast meats, all different types of breakfast meats. And then here's the deli meats, pre-cut deli meats. In case you need any of that, always you know, and then there's, there's the bologna. 
Uh, the balloony. I'm not singing the song. Let's just look around. And I'm going to show you the, where they have their fish as well. Right across from the lunch meat. They have salmon, a couple different types of fish. Um, it's fresh. It's just prepackaged. It's not like you can buy it. Like, it's not like a fishmonger. They just they kind of shrink wrap it. It's kind of like the same as Aldi. So I thought I would just share some of that. I think they might have had scallops. I'm not sure. Sometimes they do. There, I'm waving. Hello. <laughs> and here's the cheeses for your charcuterie. Great selection of cheeses. Oh, my gosh. Huge. Huge. Did I say huge? Huge selection of cheeses. Sliced cheeses, shredded cheeses, block cheeses. You name it, they had it. Even cube cheeses. So definitely got you covered in the cheese department. <laughs> for sure. And look at the party packs. And look at that. Oh, that looks, they're the little cheese curds. They look really good, too. And then you got your sour creams, your cream cheeses. Yeah, I think this might be, this is the butter section. Yeah, the butter so is coming up as well. Look at these. Plant-based butter. I didn't know they made that. And then here we are in the Isle of Doom. Just a little show you of the little things that the Isle of Doom, which is stuff that's not food-related. There's holiday stuff. There's stuff... There's just all different kinds of stuff. It's kind of, like I said, it, it's Aldi souped up. It's a little bit bigger than Aldi. And I don't know if I showed the German aisle. We'll see if, oh wait, there's some wrapping paper. I'm telling you, they have everything here. It is definitely a one-stop shop for a, just about everything you, you could possibly need in life. Look at that, a pumpkin pie nut crust. I thought that was cool. I just had to show that. Here's some holiday cereals, and this is the German section. So this is just off with the candies. Then we go into different types of little gourmet foods and stuff. But I thought they would just show this a little bit. There's all these little chocolates, great little gifts, great stocking stuffers. And here's some of the, um, get that, some teas. And you will see some, like here's some sauces and stuff like that. So this is their... Like I said, they're all imported German stuff that they get in. And they are from Germany, <laughs> after all. Little cheese things. There's a Budweiser hot sauce pack. Then great little olives and mustards and oils and vinegars. And like I said, all different kinds of jellies and jams. And it's just, it never ends. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, I didn't get everything. So this is what's so crazy about this video. It's long. But I didn't get everything. So this just shows you, look at these. Oh, the cookies. All the imported cookies. These would go great on a cookie tray and it impress people. And it didn't cost you hardly anything. And look at those cute little chocolates. I can't. It's just so stinking adorable. Just that I peruse over. I just love those. All imported. You can't buy this stuff in your regular store. But here at Lidl, there's more Pfeffernews. You can definitely find it. And like I said, would add such, would amp up your cookie tray. Just something with fun chocolates and fun German style cookies and chocolates. So yeah, the Isle of Doom is where it's at. This is across from the Isle of Doom. And here's more Isle of Doom. Look at this cool, cool Mario clock. If my boys were young, I would put down our basement. And they had some cool, now you might have, you might see this pink animal print in my hall that I just glazed over, but they have really cool leggings and tops. It looks like a pajama top, but it's not. There's Christmas countdowns. It's again, more Isle of Doom. I thought that was cute. And just some interesting things. You need last minute gifts. You know, I say Lita will hook you up. But I know a lot of people might not have Lita in their area, but you never know. Like, look, Lori Mashburn, look how cute that is. It's a Snoopy spatula and oven mitt set. How cute. But I know they're, they're, they're coming to more and more areas. So I know a lot of people, um, this is like our second Lidl that's in our area. So it's just fun to just show you. There's some pajamas. There's a Hanukkah candle. More signs. And more Isle of Doom. It is It is dooming, I will tell you that. Look, look, holiday skinny pop in a big bag. I had to show that because, you know. And look, we have yogurts. Chobani. I like Chobani. So 
they do have like i said other than their brand of stuff so i thought it was just really cool to see all the different yogurts and stuff like that and cottage cheeses so we do peruse down here this aisle we're almost done this video i do appreciate you guys look at these I, milk and honey snack bars i've never seen anything like this so i thought i'd have to you know to see what those suckers are i don't know i'm just in awe at some of the things here there's some puddings and some other kinds of yogurts and this more kefir, however you say it. Half and half al oh, almond milk. They have almond milk. And they have, the, I think they have the planted oat. <gasps> yes, the unsweetened planted oat milk. Oh my gosh, people. This is the same points as unsweetened almond milk. It makes a hell of a latte, I will tell you that. I love plant oat milk, planted oat. And the fact they have it at Lidl. They have the Silk brand. And look at this. This is like vegan, gluten-free, whipped something. I don't even know. Califia Farms. I uh, Again, just sometimes I'm just blown away at the selection at this little store. Lactate-free. Lactate and look, they have Fairlife. They didn't have the fat-free, though. Like, if you're making your, your cold start yogurt, you need the Fairlife milk. And they have it, but not in the fat-free. And here's your liquid egg whites and all the eggs they had, all different types. And a really, actually, a decent price, considering eggs are ridiculously expensive these days. And I'm not quite sure why, but they are. And here is the flavored waters. I was on my way out, and I thought, oh, my goodness, we need to get the flavored waters. I still haven't found the Spindrift apple cider yet. I'm still on the hunt for that. But I thought I would just show you. These are really great, you know. Nice to have some flavored waters. If you if that's something that you like, they will hook you up. And of course, they do have their Gatorade section. So yeah, absolutely fully stocked. And they have some sodas, diet soda, regular soda. This is the freezer section, which I really didn't take much of because the freezer section is a freezer section. But this was the frozen shrimp that I would show that. I didn't take much of the freezer though. Look for Esther. They do have a kosher section. So I thought I would show that for her. It's pretty, I mean, I, I mean, she would say it's not big enough, but I, I was shocked at actually how much stuff they did have. So I thought I would just share that for my girl Esther, a.k.a. the kosher queen. Look at that. You definitely could have a cute little Hanukkah party with the stuff in this store. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed my little tour. All right, just finished in Lidl, but look what's next door. Big Lots, let's go check from some Drizzalicious because I never give up an opportunity to check for awesome Drizzalicious, but I haven't been able to find them. So maybe here in this Big Lots. Can you see it? It's this way. There we go. And then we're going to walk down to the um, GNC for some Pop-Tarts. Let's go in Big Lots. Come along, my lovelies. Well, it was the best of the Drizzalicious and I didn't buy anything, be very proud. We're heading down to GNC because looking for bear bells and protein Pop-Tarts. Let's go. Okay, didn't grab exactly what I wanted, but I did get a few new finds from GNC. I would have filmed in there, but there's like three or four people and it's not a very big store. So we will, I will share this with my Lidl haul. So let's go home. And I walked, because I parked all the way over there where that pole is right there so yeah put my watch on and i walked i could go in the dollar tree i don't need anything but you know we're here should we go in i don't know there's nothing i need so i'm not gonna go in not we, we um, i'm resisting the urge i mean there's always stuff you could find like hey this would make a really cool thing but there's nothing i'm looking for so i'm not going in be proud i'm going home and we'll do our haul Guess who caved? I'm actually looking for protein drinks. So, because you never know when you're gonna have one. But I'm not buying anything extra, I promise. It's cat's honor. But nothing in the Dollar Tree. I'm so proud of myself. I was, sometimes they have the premier protein. I haven't seen it for a while, but I always check, it's just don't. And I've been to this Dollar Tree in forever. I am actually in Glassboro, New Jersey. That's where the Lidl is, because there's a Lidl, there's the DT, there's five below, there's GNC, there's 
big lots. This is a nice little plaza, I will say. But I'm gonna head home. We're gonna probably do our haul and get this video done and dusted for Friday. And what time is it? I think it's 11 something. I can just look at my watch, it's right here. 11.15, not bad, an hour's work. And I got a little exercise in, so it's all good. So let's go. All right, let's do a quick haul from Lidl. I'm not gonna show you my chicken breast and my carrots and my grapes because and my avocado, you know what they look like. I'm just showing you unique things because, ooh, chicken breast, yeah. But I got these pita crackers. They are ancient grains and flax. Three points for 11 crackers, which again, if you're making a charcuterie board, you could fit these in. So here is the nutritional information, if you wanna see it. It is four grams of fat, zero cholesterol, 130, 80 milligrams of sodium, 20 carbs, two grams of fiber, and four grams of protein, and no one gram of sugar. But yeah, you can feel safe eating these. And I did get their pure pumpkin. Again, I don't know why I'm showing this, but it was inexpensive and I wanted to have a couple cans. And I got these for Peter because he loves these. <laughs> they're uh, three points for the whole pack of four. Um, they're only 80 calories, but he loves these little things. And this was a surprise for him. What we do for our kids, right? I also got him this. This is uh, seven points for the whole bottle of organic kombucha. It is sugar plum. We got him this last year. He loved it. He likes, he drinks kombucha. I don't. So I got this for him. Yeah, very, very high in sugar, the kombucha is. It's six grams of protein, but it is 24 grams of sugar for him. I also got him these for a stocking, these little chocolatey sticks. They're stuffed with mint. They're eight points a serving, and you get eight sticks or a point of sticks, which I didn't think was bad. You want to have a little chocolate treat for a point? I didn't think that was bad at all. And they had, did you see, party cookies. I know, so I like partake. I got the cookie butter ones, five points for three cookies. Again, I don't think that's bad. And if you have one cookie, you might lower the points. I got these for another charcuterie board. And guess what? They're really good in points too. They'd be great for a little lunch as a side of your little deli meats and your olives and your cheeses and stuff for yourself. Two points for two crackers. So a point, a cracker. They're very thin. And remember, watch, some of them may be broken. So definitely go with the grams. It's 19 grams a serving. So I'm all for that. I did get a couple salad kits, bacon Caesar, which I don't know if I've ever seen bacon Caesar. I didn't scan the points because yeah, the dressing is gonna be a little bit pointy, but it's salad. You know, I don't get too crazy over that. And this was another find. Sesame crisp breads, 60 calories, one point, and they're one for one. So I could have two of them for two, three of them for three. But there's some nutritional information, but I love crisp breads. You know me, crisp breads. This, is this a find? It's one point for two tablespoons. This is peppermint whipped cream. I don't like peppermint, but the boys do. So I thought that would be fun to have for the holidays for them. I do think of them occasionally. But strawberries, they were such a good price. I haven't seen strawberries under like $8 forever. So I did get a pint of strawberries. I did get this as a little gift. I didn't scan it, this is stolen, but just an idea of what the foods that they have there, German stuff. So what a cute little Christmas gift this would make for somebody. I did get another salad, I never sold this either. I didn't scan it, it's, I know me. There's probably a couple points for the dressing, but it's Greek, but that seems like a lot of fun. And I got this for Christmas gift too. This little mini panettone. The whole panettone is 13 points, which I didn't think was bad for this whole thing. Again, you could have half for seven. This makes really good French toast, but a nice little gift for somebody for Christmas. You know, you want to give a little something to the teacher, to the bus driver. That's why I love going to Lidl. You can find really cool, unique things. And the reason I went there, oh, wait, we'll get to that. I forgot about these. Just like those Pocky sticks. They just look really good. Chocolate cookie sticks, six points for nine of them. Do you have to have nine? No, you could have a couple a couple of points so I got those because sometimes a little, little chocolatey thing but this is the reason I went Steve loves Pfeffernus I don't boys do but I got him these I didn't scan them they're three cookies for 130 calories but these are for him here I will show you the nutritional information in case you're interested there it is but yeah 
This is the reason I went there for German cookies. But that is my haul. Let's look at what I got at GNC. I'm going to show you the quick little things I got at GNC. You know I love my chicken chips. These are the Wild Brand Protein Chips. They are made with chicken. I've had the waffles. I think chicken and waffles, and they're really good. This one I've never had. It's the buffalo, and I thought it'd be fun to try. The whole bag has 13 grams of protein. It is five points for the whole bag. Here's the macro in that. 210 calories. One gram of sat fat. 13 grams of total fat. 10 grams of carbs. Uh, fiber is three. Uh, less than a gram of sugar and 13 grams of protein so i have now tried the buffalo and i would like to try it so they were there at the checkout you know but i went in for this the legendary this one is the hot fudge sundae flavor tasty pastry it is five net carbs 20 grams of protein 180 calories eight grams of total fat zero grams of sugar this has erythritol 20 grams of protein, 7 grams of fiber, 24 grams of carbs. These are four points. This is the same as the same. I got this one too. Chocolate cake flavored pastry. Yeah, I just want to try them before I invest in a whole box. But I did like the cinnamon one, which was three. But these are both four. Which for a snack, again, I don't think is terrible when you're talking chocolate pastry. Can I repeat after me? Chocolate pastry. Yes. And I did get this because I mentioned I, I was supposed to get this on my last haul. These are little things that you bring, like you could bring protein powders. That's what they were made for to, if you bring it to the gym. But what I want to do is put my skinny syrup in here. So when I go out, I have it with me. I was like, yeah, I need my, And I got Supergirl because, you know, it's pink. And I got one for Peter. I got him Superman. In case he wanted one. I'm trying to think if he said he wanted one or not. Well, I was there. I got it. Put it in the stocking. But yeah. Skinny syrups. Or if you do powder protein, put it in there. I think they're so stinking cute. I've never seen these anywhere. And I love them. So I did get, I was wanting to get and a little binder clip. You could hang it on your purse. But you'll keep your skinny syrups intact. So that is what I got at GNC. I wanted to show you these two things that I got in the clothes section. Uh. 12 bucks and I couldn't resist. This is a velour long sleeve, long tunic, like velvet. I thought how cute over leggings for the winter. How long it is. I was like, I got it. I sized up to a large because again, when you're buying things from Germany, I'm not quite sure. And this was called a long dress. Looks like pajamas, not gonna lie, but I thought it'd be so cute with leggings. Got like a pink print i mean it's warm it's fleece it's 12 dollars. again it's not something i'm going to be wearing to church it'd be something i can wear to work in the kitchen you know it's gonna be warm and on those cold days like you get 12 degrees out it's gonna be nice and nice and toasty so i want to share those two clothes finds for 12 bucks editing d here i realized i didn't close this video out so thanks so much for watching it's a little bit longer than some of my food finds friday but you got a couple different stores in there and you got a lot of tour of Lidl. So Lidl, I don't know if it's local to your area. It might come there. So it's just fun to see them. So if you're, or if you visit somewhere where they have Lidl, you might want to go in and check it out. It's like, I always say it's all these big brother. So that is it. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know with a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you ha haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to Dish with D. We are slaying our weight loss one pound at a time. We do these fun food finds that show you where you can find interesting, low point, healthy snacks. So that is why we do them. I'm running out of stores though. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We will dish another day. Thank you for watching Vlogmas Day 16. I wasn't sure of the day because I days are all together, but thank you for watching Vlogmas Day 16. I will see you tomorrow for Wayne and WW Wayne and meeting topic du jour. I do intend at my meetings in Turnersville. So I will see you tomorrow and have a great rest of your day.